Hello everyone, welcome to Peak Titles Concepts. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple animation. So what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to adjust the size of the scene. Pick your pen tool and make a shape of a bucket. Let us transform the bucket shape to, to the shape of a small ball. If this is your first time joining us on this channel, the name of the app we are making use of is called Vector Motion. It's a very powerful Android animation app. This is to inform you that I have a WhatsApp group where I teach people. You can ask questions, uh, ask for tips. Also, I'll be glad if you can like this video, share and subscribe. Because this channel is just to be monetized uh, so that YouTube can recommend this video to new audience. Click here to add the circle layer. Before I forget, let us paint our bowl. Let us give it a blue color. Let us place the circle layer behind the bowl. Change the color of the circle layer to sky blue or light blue. Convert the circle layer to parts so that we can adjust the notes and uh, the edges, the angles, every you know. Duplicate the circle layer and reduce the size. Change the color of the new layer to gray or something a bit dark. Place the, the new layer behind the blue bow and adjust the position. As you can see, our drawing is coming to life gradually. Now let us uh, duplicate the circle layer and form water. Change the color to, to white and reduce the size and the opacity. You can rename the layers in order to easily identify them. Add a square shape and convert to part. Follow up steps that I used earlier in the creation of the blue ball.
pick up your pen to and draw the handle of the cup by following my steps like this. Bring down the water layer to make the water inside the bowl look little. Draw a rectangular shape in order to form table. Change the color of the layer and place the table layer behind every other layers. Pick your pen tool and draw a shadow for the bowl. Place the shadow layer behind the bowl. Change the color to black and reduce the opacity. Go to FS panel and add a blur effect. You can change the lightning by using gradient color. Don't forget to give the bow layer an outline. Now let's make a rough sketch of a hand holding the cup. Don't forget this is a rough sketch. The more time you spend on your character, the more beautiful your animation will become.
Now let's change the color of the hand. As you can see, drawing takes 80% of your time, while the animation aspect takes just 20%. Now we are moving to the reanimation. Pay attention. Turn on auto animate. Change the length of the animation to 5 seconds. Click on select two and mark the cup layer and the hand layer and mark them together. Like this. At zero seconds on the keyframe, move the marked layer a little bit in order to mark the starting point of your animation. Move the cursor to 2.8 seconds and rotate the layers like this. Click play to preview your animation. You know when you bend a cup full of water, at some point the water begins to pour down. That point, you are going to locate the point on the timeline. The point where the water will begin to fall, you are going to note the point. The point is around 2 seconds. After locating the point, adjust the water in a slanty form. As if the water is about to fall just like this. Locate the points on the timeline where all the water in the cup will pull out completely. On the timeline at 2.7 seconds, adjust the water and let it touch the bow. Don't forget to place the bow layer above every other layers. At 2.6 seconds on the timeline, mark the water inside the bowl, the layer, the layer of the water. Raise it up a little bit to mark the starting point. Raise it up and return it to the back to the position. Then move your cursor to 3.6 seconds. Then raise the water up as if it's filling up the bowl. Then the point at which the water inside the bowl stops increasing. That's the point where where the water inside the cup stops dropping. Mark the notes of the water inside the cup and drag them all inside the bowl. At 3.4 seconds, move the reduce the opacity and returning back to 100% to, to mark the starting point of the uh, opacity change. Move your cursor to 3.6 seconds, then reduce the opacity to 0%.
Now let's preview our animation. You, if the animation seems too slow, you can you can change the uh, the frame per seconds, or you can make correction on your video editing app. 